Welcome back to the Gentleman Ultras YouTube channel. I'm Richard Hall as always and looking through the morning papers in. It's Antonio Conte who features mainly there on Gazzetta della Sport. Um, he has had quite the interview uh, with them and he says here, says here he's launching Italy towards the Euros. Um, the former obviously Azzurri coach had a lot to say about his <laughs> snub of Tottenham. Uh, also talking about the fact of why he left Inter and what happened with the project. But he really says here, you know, that let's start with Italy. Mancini, he says, built a great group and we can believe that Italy can win it. Um, I mean, strong words from a man who uh, did an exceptional job himself in some respects with um, with everywhere he's really been. Um, and it's good that he's getting a bit of uh, his say forward. I'm not sure that will please him. He said here that the reason he left Inter is because his project idea didn't change at all. He had a vision, a way of working, a way of moving forward. Uh, and he said that Zhang's phrases and how he had different ideas, they changed. And, you know, that he said, look, you know, there's nothing he could do. Uh, he had one vision, but Inter had to change because of the financial situation. And therefore, the wires were crossed. Um, I don't think there's any hard feelings from him here. He also says thank you to the fans. They know what I brought. I don't stress teams. I help them to win. And he did. So there you go. Um, it's uh, For the Azuri, because obviously there's lots of talk, because Italy take on Turkey tomorrow. Uh, away with the new Ballo. Not Balotelli, do not worry. It's Burrella and Locatelli are the youngsters in charge and pushing this team forward. It says the pair of midfielders could prove decisive. Uh, Mancio plays at home. Um, and it says here he's got a strong bond with the City after becoming Roman in their terms, obviously with his time at Lazio. It says watch out for Turkey though, because not only Yilmaz on the counter, but also Chanaloglu, a, a team that obviously, well, um, you know, uh, <laughs> a player that many know quite well in this league. Um, and then after that, there's also talk of Juventus. Uh, yes for the next Champions League. Um, it says that there won't be exclusion from the competition, even after the Super League chaos. Um, so... It's going to be interesting that way. Um, also, it says that Milan, uh, forward with the loans, Milan can keep uh, Brahim Diaz and Delot, uh, which will be, especially Diaz, I think that's a really, really um, important loan for them. So, what of the Coriolis de la Sport? Well, they're also talking, obviously, about the Euros, saying tomorrow the Euros debut of the Azuri take on Turkey. Passion, energy and desire to make an impact. And it's true, they talk about an exciting Italy. It is an exciting Italy because this team can play in a couple of different ways. Once it you know, can play very much on the counter against the bigger teams, but also as well, it has got the players like Insigne that can unlock defences as well. It's here again giving credit to Mancini. And this is a really good point because Mancini, when you look at all the coaches in the Euros, he's one of the really one of the very few elite coaches. Okay, Enrique you can look at as well, but here it says that there, uh, he's going to team a group will at least seek success on an international level. Um, it also talks here um, about Italy really um, having to win that first game because they have failed many times in the past um, in those early games. Also here there is talk of a sky move. 500 million to Dan's facility on the satellites. So there could be a development there. What a surprise. More developments in, <laughs> in the Italian... Uh, TV rights. Don't want to get back into that. We did about 10 uh, <laughs> episodes of that. Rome reopens and relaunches the country. So everything's back on now. It looks as though the co COVID's almost uh, dissipating. The football's back and the mayor of the capital speaks about it. Also talking of... Uh, <laughs> he says here that uh, smoke signals uh, arrive as Sarri um, enters Lazio. Lazio long negotiations conclude with an announcement and he signed a two-year deal worth 3.5 million euros. Fans and Latito ecstatic um, because they really believe that after Inzaghi, he's another coach who can bring quite a lot to the table. Uh, Tito Sport obviously talking about Juventus. They also talk about this uh, discipline of commission suspending um, actions against the Biancaneri, Real Madrid and Barcelona. And they will be participating in the Champions League next year. Um, also, interest, this is a really interesting story here, saying that Max Allegri potentially could think of going to Sirigu as his main goalkeeper next season, as well as Bellotti. So raiding Torino for two of their main players and then thinking that Chesney should be the understudy to Sirigu. I find that quite incredible because I think Chesney is one of the most elite goalkeepers in the league and the fact that they tried to replace him not only with Donnarumma at first, but now with Sirigu um, is, is absolutely quite baffling um, at the moment. 
Uh, also, as well, one last thing here, it talks about Paris Saint-Germain potentially offering uh, Paredes and some money for Hakimi, so that could be quite a nice little move for Inter, so let's see if that happens. So, we'll be talking tomorrow before Italy's big build-up against uh, before Turkey, and let's see um, if they can go and do something special. So, for me, it's chat for now, but please like this or subscribe or have a look over at the Gentleman Ultra website and listen to the podcast, and uh, yeah, let us know, comments below. Thanks.